Okay, so Expat Aviator here and thought I would do a video update on my King Air cockpit because it's been a long time since the last update. I took a little break and have come back to it. So let's see where we're at. We've got the main instrument panel working. It's just a computer monitor behind. I, I need to get some borderless frames with these pop-outs but they're okay for now and uh, the AFX lights they're not programmed yet they're just on all the time and the other lights that are on the gear handle and the uh, the gear lights as well none of these switches uh, they're all wired but they are not connected to anything yet and we do have the altitude working correctly and the GCN works as well. Let's see, what can we do? That's all working correctly. Change of frequency. And let's see. So for now, I'm using some cheap SATEC throttles and we'll see that they do actually work on the gauges and down to the center console which I've had this made for quite a while now but uh, everything everything does work correctly so for example if I uh, dim the screens then they really do damn dim down Maybe on a night flight that might be handy. But yeah, everything really does work. So, uh, some of these controls are actually kind of cool to see when everything's to scale. And the heading bug as well, of course. And for now, just a widescreen monitor has sat on the table on the other side of the panel. Um, still need to do the yoke. I'm just using a joystick for now. I uh, need to get some rudder pedals, box in all of this and do the flap indicator. Uh, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with the enunciator panel. Glare shield of course. Uh, and I'm going to make a piece of something to fit over this to make it look a bit more like a King Air. And um, maybe a fake trim wheel. I'm going to do trim on the yoke eventually. So, all right, there's the short update. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.